All right, guys, we are doing our last grading reveal of 2022 50 card SGC order. Got some from like this bubble over here, as well as two cases of these. Now, when I saw on social media, SGC is throwing in some Bowman packs, I think it was. So I'm hoping that we end up getting some of those in here. And we'll see from that. So first, as you guys can see, the look and see at Babe Ruth and that stack. We're going to slice these open over here too. And hopefully it goes well. Now I got a sneak peek. Some of the grades. I liked what I saw. So over here have that stack there stack number two unfortunately no bone and chrome pack so it does look like we got some stickers which i don't know if we've gotten stickers like that before it's kind of cool to have wish we got the pack no worries definitely didn't send any modern cards can see the sticker got here kind of like a metallic finish to it I don't know how well it's picking up on the video and just for like size comparison about the size of a look and see if you're familiar with that set so but also take these out the rubber bands and we'll do the last this other stack over here to the side and another sticker so we got two stickers on there all right let's go through these stacks one by one i guess we're going to start off with these over here so first we got my 1927 w560 only jack dempsey and this one it got a three honestly like this was gonna get an a because of the borders you guys can see like there's very slight borders on here but got that and you guys can see the back over here as well so I'm happy with this grape. It looks really sharp in the tucks. And this is gonna go in my boxing PC. Next, oops. It's never fun knocking over your tripod. We got a 1963 Frank Robinson. This one will be available and it got the six. Really sharp corners down over here at the bottom on these ones. Definitely a little OC. And that corner to the top left is the reason why I got a six and it is OC on the back, so. So good looking example. This one, I saw the grade already. So you can see there's a tiny bit of paper loss on here. I'm trying to remember where it was. Somewhere on here. But it got the two. I thought this was a really clean looking two. You can see the corners over there. But I bought this one raw. I was hoping it got a three, but definitely agreed with that two grade but still nice too that I've seen. Oh, there's the paper loss. So you guys can see that right there. So, still looks sharp though. So there's that one. And we got a 1.5 on this Ruth. Now, as you can't tell, there's a giant crease right there. Now it's shown perfect. So that's why I got a 1.5. And I bought that knowing that as well, so. Another one in here that's going to be a lot higher of a grade. So we'll throw those off to the side. I'm going to go into stack number two, the one over here. Up first, we got a 6.5 on the Sky Rogers. Just a really sharp example. Uh, some of these did have some staining on the back, so they're going to be a little bit lower grade. Other ones do not. Next, we have some Led Zeppelin cards. So this got the 8.5. This is the Tony Belt Pop Stars. This is a 1972 or 73 release. I've seen them listed as both years. So on the back over here, let's see how that is. So I know these rounded cards are a little bit different on how they grade them. And their sub cutout is kind of interesting as well on these, but that the other one I sent in, as you can see the back on this one, this ended up getting the nine. 
I think I am going to keep both these for now. Eventually, I want to get a 10 for these. I have the 1970 already in a PSA 10, so it'd be nice to get some higher grades. I have the next one over here, the Cantanti. This got a 6. Pretty sharp corners on this one, although it is OC. You guys can see the back on this one, too. So, expected pretty much a 6 on it, maybe a 7. This one I do have an 8 already. Eventually want to get one of the 9s, but just so pricey. This one got a 3. You can see the corners aren't the best on this example, and it makes sense, so I got that grade. Other from 72. We got a Pink Floyd. It's got a 4.5. Pretty sharp, but it is OC. You guys can see the back on that. And this other Pink Floyd got a five. I was hoping this one got a little bit higher, but definitely OC. You guys can see the back on that. Okay. Up next, a Black Sabbath. So this one got a three. That's what I expected on this. These are pretty tougher to find for some reason, but should also have another one with a different back coming in soon. So there's, I think, three different types on these, and I eventually want to get all three. Next, we got my Hackenschmidt. This got the four. I honestly thought this was going to get a three. So you guys can see a little bit of the corners down over there and also some staining on the back. So I thought that was gonna get a three, but you know, I'm happy with getting that four grade. That. I got the Billy Joel. This got an eight. This one is staying in the PC. Not a rookie card, he has some earlier stuff, but still pretty early on. I think this is, is his first Panini. Kind of looks like a, a little bit rocky. 1964 Billy Williams, it's got a 6.5. This one will be available. It's a lot of like the 50s through 70s baseball that you guys are gonna see. And some of this basketball from 61. I shouldn't say some, all these 61 basketballs so will be available if you guys are interested in that. So, so we've got a five. Pretty clean example. 4.5. So also got a 5. I was hoping this one would sneak out a 5, but get why it's a 4 with the centering. Although, pretty sharp. The bottom a lot. He's chipped really, really badly. I think this is a second card. Second or third that there. Heron got a three. Probably shouldn't have sent that with the bottom over there, but end up missing that. Got that sent out. Covey got a 6.5. This one looks really nice and it is a high number as well. This one is actually a really, really cool card. So this is a John Dillinger. This is from the G-Men series. But if you guys look over here, might not sound familiar. That's because this is a French version of the card. I've never saw this before. And when I had the opportunity to grab it, like all day I have to pick this one up. Definitely goes great in my non-sports PC. And you guys can see all the back over here. So I knew Gum Inc. focused on American stuff. I didn't know they had these cards overseas so you learn something all the time if you know more information about the set also let me know at least the french version i'm familiar with the american set although there's a lot more that i need to learn about it like there's so many different variations on them and some of the high numbers on these are crazy expensive but this dillinger have the american version i don't know if i have a four per se maybe like a two or a three but it needs to be upgraded this one 100 percent i'm just won't be able to find it again. I think there's a total of five that are graded in this set by SJC. I don't know how many are graded uh, by PSA as well, but it has to be very little comparison. 5.5 on this one. Again, I thought these corners look pretty sharp for 63. A lot of chipping on those. 
maze and mutual. This is the one that got E6. K line got the five. Brock got a six. It's only high number. And lastly, Tommy John and Bob Chance. This one got a six. Bit of a hair on it. So that is the first stack. I'll move these off to the side. But before we get into stack number two, if you guys are brand new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to do at least one submission every single month on here. And I have a bunch of card show vlogs, spotting fakes, a ton of really cool stuff. And you see some cards like that. You might not see every day. Speaking of cards you don't see every single day. So this is kind of interesting. It's my first uh, rugby card in my collection. I saw this one on eBay. I thought it looked pretty nice for the price. So I ended up picking it up. Now there obviously is some defects. You guys can see that right there and a little bit chipping on the bottom, but overall it was a really clean card. And uh, this is one of your goats of rugby. I passed away really, really young, but made a huge impact in the sport. So getting a 7.5 is really, really tough on these cards. There's not a lot that are high graded because they got damaged really easily. And uh, this is definitely going into kind of like other sports, PC. There's that one. We got the five on the look and see at Babe Ruth. So I was hoping for when I purchased this card that it had a slight chance at a six if it wasn't as OC as it is. So five, really, really happy. Another card they bought raw to show. You guys can see the back on it, that one as well over there. This one, I was hoping it got a six as well. This one I thought actually looked really sharp. You guys can see the corners on that one. But it definitely is shifted to the left, so that makes sense. I got the five grade, but man, I was, I was really hoping it got the six, but I bought it where I had room at five and six would be extra gravy. When it goes in my non-sports PC, this is the Vanderbilt rookie card. To my knowledge, this one got a three, which is the highest graded. These were actually booklet cards by Duke Cigarettes. And just the imagery on these are really, really nice. I have pretty much all the big names in the set. I just need to get them graded over time. So there's that Vandy. Next, we have a miscut Andrew Carnegie. And you guys can see kind of how it slants up over here to the top left. A lot of these in the set, are, I'm just gonna say are really, really miscut. So, but like this example looks really, really clean besides that. So I was hoping it got a grade on it, but I understand why it did not. And you guys can see again, the imagery on these. I love this set and uh, try to get some higher grades in the future, but there is definitely a crease right there as well. So it's like you can get a two, but either way, slobbed up and protected now. Another Dr. W.G. Grace, this got a one. You guys can see like there's that right there. And there's some staining on the back as well, but just wanted to get this one protected and thrown into my collection as well. Again, I'll try to upgrade it. At the Garinger, batter up. This got a 2.5. A little bit of issues over there. It's increasing, it looks like, over there as well. There's 61 Fleer. And sorry, I can't tell you too much of background on these. I'm just not a basketball expert. Definitely need to learn a lot more about vintage basketball in the future. But that is the reason why. For Lynn Wilkins. This one has some staining, so that's why it didn't grade higher, but it still looks pretty sharp. Got fives of his other card in the set. This one got the four. Same thing on that. Got the Sam Jones. I thought this one looked really clean. As you can see, that issue. Really great. 62 Gibson. Predicted a five on this one. This one got the five. High numbered Gibson. It's actually pretty collectible. I have people asking me for this one all the time. So got the five. Next, we got a four. It's Tony Oliva. Banks Aaron also got a five, 1963. 
happy with this one. The Lefty Groove. This one got a four. One of your better names within this set. If I want to add in the Greenberg to my PC one day, technically one of his rookie cards, but you guys just see some more that I ended up picking up. Lazary. This Scaringer got a one. There's some, a little bit of creases right over there. Oh, I guess because of the back over here that got the one because of that. It makes sense. This one I was actually hoping got a higher grade. This one has wicked sharp corners. I don't know why I got a four. Uh, actually, that might be a crease right there. So that would uh, be the reason why if that's the case. And a little bit of staining. Either way, it's it's a tougher card to find. This is his rookie. One upgrade it to like an eight, seven, eight one day. I guess I've said that a lot this video, but one of my favorites, Thomas Edison Lone Jacket. Fenters, almost 50% done with this set. Hoping for the one five, but had paper loss on that side. A few different spots. So kind of thought it was gonna get a one. Chase this one for two plus years. Get what you can, right? Imagery on this still looks great. 1960 Fleer Bay Birth. This one got a five. 64 Tops Billy Williams got a six. 64 Oliva got the four. And we're going to finish off with a music card. 1973 Alice Cooper rookie card. Got the five. To me, you guys might talk about this over here, but that happens on almost every card in the set. I have a six that's graded by PSA, which incorrectly says it's a 72, but looks exact same way. So just how they were cut. And you guys can see the original sticker on the back. So those are my pickups. Order your guys' favorite. In here, I think this one looks really, really nice in the slab. The black and red really stands out. Now, also that Vandy, which is another stack somewhere, but I really like that one as well. There's a few cards, and of course, you can't go wrong with that Thomas Edison. Anyways, guys, appreciate you watching all these grading reveals this year. We'll be back some more next year, and I do plan on opening up some group subs. So if you guys are interested, let me know. I'm gonna work out those details probably in later January or February. All right, see ya.